It's pick, pick six, six time. time. Welcome, Welcome to the, the pick, pick six, six show. show. This is your host, Seth Perry. It's the pick, pick six, six rookie time. time. <laughs> Slow down. Use it, know it, become it. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sadie P. Girls be eyeing scenes Coming backstage behind the big things You got me, I'm not me for science What's going on, y'all? Hey, hello Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Pick 6 I'm your host, Cedric Perry Got a, a good topic today I've been thinking, you know, some of the things How I can help impact my community And I figured I want to be a friend I want y'all to be friends. So today we're going to talk about six ways to be a better friend. Sound, sound cool? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So I've been thinking we need to really have this talk now because there's some things that people think of friends that are not friends and not the person that's just going to owe you 20 hours. You know what I mean? They do more than that. Friends are not what girls call guys they don't want to talk to. It's more than that. You know, it's a couple of things. So we want to get into what's going to make a good friend. We're going to break it down today. Let me take a quick sit down. Next to my good sidekick. Give it up for Bam Man, y'all. Woo! Woo! Bam Man! Vote for Chris. Thank you. Bam Man, how you feeling today? Doing pretty good. We're talking about six ways to be a better friend. That's very important. Yeah, very, very important. <laughs> you definitely need to help people out there and support. Right. Now, we're going to get into one of my favorites, You Trippin'. Are you familiar? Of course I'm familiar. They Wildin'. They Wildin', You Trippin', right. So, we're going to do a little bit of a call and response for those who've never seen the show. I'm going to name the people that are trippin', okay? Give a little brief detail, then name them again. When I call their name, I point to you and you say, You Trippin'. Right, so we're going to try this again. Random people. You tripping. Right, okay, okay. So number one on this list, people who walk by and don't speak. What is that? Now look, people, we need to break this down. There's two types of people that do this. You have bougie man, bougie, not Gucci man, bougie man. Bougie man. Bougie. The person, bougie, that will just walk past you with his nose, he's, he's too proper, too pure to speak uh, to you. Rude, you trifling. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Then you have Thug Dizzle. Thug Dizzle. Thug Dizzle will walk up to you. <laughs> Won't say nothing to you. What's your problem, brother? What's your problem? Speak, say hello, deuces, head nod, one of the, anything. Just acknowledge me. Recognize my, you know, presence. Presence, okay? So, people who walk by and don't speak, you tripping. Okay. Number two. On the list of people that you are tripping, you tripping. Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> yeah, I went there. I researched the Pittsburgh, brother. Look, man, he didn't do it. That's all I got to say. Now, you tripping. Now, Roethlisberger, you my, you my man, 40 grand. You make great passes. You, you put yourself out in the heart, but brother, you got to stay out the clubs. This is not for you right now. They out there for you, brother. They out there. He probably feel like he's getting racially profiled. If it does not fit, you must equip. You tripping. And Ben Roethlisberger, you, you tripping. tripping. Okay. Now, number three on the list, people who have no coup. Y'all like, huh, what? Coup? Coup is moral. Right? Coup is ethics. Is that another word in the pick six? It's, it's coming. Haberdash is on his way here. It's a new book. But have you, how many times have you seen this happen before? You coming from the, the giant? Y'all got giant eagle or something? Or something? Yeah, we got giant eagle. Yeah, I do the okay. research. Right. I know. But you go into the grocery store, you coming home, you got six bags in your hands, you don't have no free hands. You got to open up the door. It's somebody sitting there chilling. He look at you and keep it moving. Are you for real? You're not going to open the door. 
door for me, brother, mm. you're not gonna have no cooth mm. tripping. Okay. So people who have no cooth, you tripping. Damn. Give it up. Give it up for yourself. Get into number one on the show here. Six ways to be a better friend because that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Dependability. I said dependability. Right, mm -hmm. right. right. right as a as a friend, I need to know that if something happens, if there's an issue, I can talk to you. I can depend on you, uh -huh. and vice versa. If you need me, you can call me. Here's a number and a dime. Call me anytime, okay? You definitely want to know that you can rely on each other. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm not dependable because I didn't spot you five. I might not have had it, okay? But if there's an issue where you're having a problem, you're going through something, you know I got you. Example, myself, I'm, I make love. I don't make war. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get thrown in jail, and I don't want to be on TMZ. But if, you, if I see my, my good brother, Dev, a.k.a. the Uber Maneuver, or G. Diddy, Band Man, or my family, they know I got them. I'm not just going, you know, you, if you fighting with them, no, you got to catch a clothesline. Hear me and hear me good, okay? So you, I'm going to defend my people, and they know that they can depend on me, okay? So that's number one on six ways to be a better friend. You need to be dependable. If I, if I ask, you know, yo, we hanging out? All right, cool. You, when I, I get there, you're not there? It's not dependable. Yeah, that, that, that stuff, that's wrong. Right. Number two on the list, man law. Boom. Throw the cap down. Man law. Now, man law or whatever the ladies call it. Ladies, what y'all, y'all have a code system? Mm. Yeah, girls law. Girls law. We'll call it that. We'll rock. You have Women. that. Women. Woman's law, they're they so dirty. They, they wanted to switch it up. Back right. There. Yeah, so you, I'm catching that. But mm. woman's law or man's law, there's a unwritten code of things that you just don't do to a person that you consider a friend. Bam, man, if you got you a nice, wholesome booski, that's off limits. Indeed. Slow down. <laughs> Even if you break up with her, still off limits. Got that stamp on it. Yeah, y'all got emotional bonds. Emotional walls, girl. Emotional walls. I, I can't break through that. I can't. I can't be touching that. That's your. That's your woman. Same thing for the ladies. Ladies, it's more men out here than you think. There's a lot of good brothers. You don't have to use your girlfriends. Okay, that's messed up. Mm -hmm. Somebody's doing like this in the crowd. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Anyway, but you, you have, there's some things that you have to re respect, okay? And you, those things, as a true friend, a true friend, a true friend, friend. You just, you're just not going to break, okay? Now, this parlays okay. into number three, Trace. honesty, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to get into a little bit more detail because it seems, oh, honesty, of course, don't, don't lie to Just go right. Before, right? No, no, it's, Oh, okay. Now, honesty includes the cosine. Mm-hmm. Right, thank you. The cosine, how many times, ladies, have you been with your female friend, your girlfriend? She was looking a hot mess. None. She said none. Okay, she sticks up. Wow. Wow. I don't let my friends go out looking a hot mess. But that's what she said. And that's a good friend right there. You can clap that up. Ladies. You can't co-sign on bad outfits, bad weaves, the two-tone, or just things that are just just wrong, and you know it's wrong, and you continue to be like, "Hey, this but is okay." This I is don't cool. know who's a bad haircut because when they go out, that's people that's people don't let them know. Right. So you definitely want to do that, fellas. If listen, we 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 real here. Pick six. Bam, man. Not that you are. But if you was cheating on your girl, mm. not that you are, I'm not. <laughs> he is not. <laughs> if you was cheating on your girl, you ask me, is that okay? Or, you know, if you laughing and joking about that, am I to co-sign and be like, yeah, yo, you getting that? No, that's drawling. 
Don't do that. You are continuing bad habits, and that's not what good friends do. Don't co-sign on that nonsense. If your boy is getting in trouble, he fighting all the time, he about to go to jail, he don't, he's not thinking about it, yo, brother, you got to stop. You tripping, okay? Honesty is the key. No more co-signing, okay? Don't do it. We're going to take with commercial break. Did you really just steal my line? Yes, I did. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. Let the advertisers marinate. You're tripping. We'll be right back. <laughs> Woo! Six ways to be a better friend. Help me, help you. Yes. Now, number four, which is where we ended off at, on the list, motivation. I said motivation, y'all. Give Woo! me that. Now, you as a great friend, better friend, must be a motivator to that person that you care about. There are going to be times when they get down. There's going to be times when they they need your help, and you have to be there to provide that strength, that support. You are the support system. Mm. But it's, it's really important that you're there because that helps them to continue forward, to reach their goals, and for you to reach yours because it works as a cycle, y'all. It works as a cycle, okay? Now, number five on the list, communication. We talk. Talk to talk, okay? Now, mm -hmm. with every great friendship, there comes a time where you have to delve into some things that about yourself mm -hmm. that'll help me be a be a better friend to you. We have to talk. You need to express yourself and vice versa. Also, when you're dealing with communication, if there's a problem, if there's something on your mind, you gotta let it out. Got hate in your heart, let it out. You definitely have to talk when things are going on. Commonly, issues get overlooked, it builds up, and then it ends up in a big fight. When we could have squashed it when it was something little, when I stepped on your toe last week, and you didn't say nothing, or I didn't say, excuse me. That was just, that's what this all started from. What? We gotta communicate, y'all. We definitely gotta talk and know that we're on the same level, okay? That's very important. I'm pondering to myself now. We're going to take one more quick commercial break. Let the advertisers do their thing one more time, pay our bills. And then we're coming back with the spade in the back pocket. Pick six. Welcome back, welcome back here. Yo, you're loud. You're loud clapping. Outrageous. Now, we're here. And it's time to do the spade in the back pocket. The pick six. Yeah. Man, man, can you give me a rip, brother? Here it comes. Show them some love. Let them know that you care about them. Don't ever let them forget it. Okay? Now, folks, before we end, let me let y'all know, you know, I love y'all. Love you too, man. Love you. Love you too, man. That's the love. 
appreciate love you, it. Love. I, I appreciate it, but it's for real. Because y'all really support, you know, when it's yeah. a packed crowd, when it's not a packed crowd, y'all always come out and laugh it up with us. Yeah. So we, I, I appreciate it. Give a round of applause for y'all. Okay, but this has concluded another episode of Pick 6. Use it, know it, be comments, okay? Want to give a few shout outs and a few plugs here. First, I want to start off with giving the credit to the Cheney University. Give it up for CU, yo. CU! Yeah. Whole nother level there. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to my my alum, Cheney, my alma mater. Yeah. I'm an alum, so my alma mater, Cheney University, definitely appreciate the things y'all have done for me and Wolfpack. I'm trying to get back. Yeah. Want to One, let y'all know about a few things that are coming up here. Definitely go and check out Pick Six, the new episodes on WCUB Channel Two at Cheney University. Sundays and Mondays, the new episodes, 8, 10, 12, 12, 12 p.m. P.m. Yeah, not, not 12, 8, and 10. My, my beasy, my beasy. Definitely also want to give a shout out to the Pennington School, a high school in New Jersey. We just went there. We had a great time with you guys taping pick six there. That was, that was some big stuff. You know, we, we banged out these kids. They were very hyped. They were very hyped. So, Dre and Ant and Malcolm and all of them, shout out to y'all. Y'all do y'all thing. We wanted, to, we wanted to talk about another few things. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about some, I don't know what's going on there. But I want you guys to check out the Season 2 DVD. Getting to the end of the season, I know you guys are getting ready for it. Will be available at the upcoming events. Look out for it. SETIP.com and you will peep the commercials. They will be hilarious. 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 <laughs> and look out for the blooper reels too. Yeah, we 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 packed we packing some great things on there. Yeah. Now, folks, it's been real. I'm a little, I'm a little tired right now. Yeah, I feel it, man. Your cosine is impeccable. Oh God, impeccable. My job. I'm Cedric Perry. This is Pick Six. Bring it up. Robot, robot with it. it. Robot with it. Oh, Lucius, I'm out. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! 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 Yeah!